Welcome everybody. In this video I'm going to talk about permissions in password state, the different permission models and how you can apply each of them. One of the core functions of password state is to share out password records and this is done by granting permissions. There are two different permission models that you can utilize. The default model is to grant access at a password list level. When using this model any permissions will propagate upwards to any upper level folders. This will maintain the folder structure for any users that have access to the password lists and keep the environment consistent. The second option you have is to set permissions at the top of a tree structure and those permissions will filter down to all nested folders and password lists beneath it. To grant permissions at a password list level, first you'll need to select the password list and go to its administrator menu and select view password list permissions. In here you can click grant new permissions and you can either grant permissions for a user or a security group. If you click the search button I'll select the desktop team and I'll grant my desktop team modify permissions to this password list. There are three types of permissions you can choose and they are view, modify or administrator. View permissions allow the users to just view the contents of the password list. Modify allow them to edit any of the uh, password records in the password list and administrator permissions allow the users to do all of the above plus they can change the settings on the password list itself. So once we've done that we'll click save and now that we've granted access to our desktop team and if we have a look at the folder that this password list is nested beneath human resources we can see the permissions on this folder have automatically inherited those desktop team permissions. The next thing I'll show you is how you can use the propagate permissions down model to apply permissions at the top of a tree structure. You can convert an existing folder structure to this propagate down permissions model but in this example I'm just going to create a new folder structure under the root of passwords home and I'll just call this test and we want to select manage permissions manually for this folder and propagate permissions downwards. If we click save to that We've now got our new test folder and you can see it's got a slightly different icon with the, the brown triangle in the bottom right hand corner indicating that the permissions are going to propagate down. We'll then go to the folder permissions of this and select view permissions and we'll grant new permissions to this. I'll select a single user and I'll choose Jet McCubbin and give Jet administrator permissions. So now what will happen is uh, any password list we create under this folder um, Jet and Lee Sanford will have administrator permissions. So I'll just quickly create a password list and select save. And we've now let that refresh and we've now got the test password list um, selected and we'll go to list administrator permissions and you can see we've both got administrator access to it. There's a couple of rules to the propagate permissions model and the first being is you can't create a private password list underneath a folder that is propagating nor can you drag and drop a private password list into here and because the permissions remain the same for the entire tree structure below it you can't grant access, you can't specify halfway down that the, the propagating permissions is going to take effect. It has to be at a top level only. If you want to get even more granular with your permissions, you can specify them at a password record level by going to the Actions menu and then clicking on View Individual Password Permissions. If we specify a completely new user in here, and we'll just choose Samuel Holmes for Modify Permissions and click Save, you'll notice now that, uh, sorry if I go to Return to Passwords homepage, um, this icon here uh, is now populated on the screen and that's because this one password record has some individual permissions applied to it and that, that way you can gr uh, grant access to one single record without having to give that same user access to every other record within the password list. The last thing I'd like to talk about to do with permissions in password state is the ability for a security administrator to fix up any permissions issues they have under the administration password list area. 
they can do this either from the actions menu on the individual pa uh, password list or they can go under perform bulk processing administer bulk permissions that's all for this video and thanks for watching